Finance ministers and central bank governors from the group of 20 countries have wrapped up their meeting in Cairns. They're trying to revive the global economy. Ai Uchida joins us now from our business desk. Ai, good morning. What can you tell us? Good morning, Catherine. Well, these leaders look around the world and they see challenges. They realize, for example, that American officials tightening monetary policy could affect many countries. So they want measures to support economic growth and encourage things like job creation. The leaders say they will continue to implement fiscal strategies flexibly. The financial leaders issued a statement after two days of talks. They forecast that 1.8 percent growth can be achieved if they take concrete measures to lift their collective GDP by more than 2 percent by the year 2018. Some emerging economies voiced concern that the U.S. government's tapering of its monetary stimulus may cause market disruption. They think the policy may encourage investors to withdraw their funds. The statement says the G20 nations should take note of the impacts on the global economy from their change in monetary policies. The financial leaders also pointed out that the Ebola epidemic could seriously affect growth and stability in West Africa and other regions. They agreed that international coordination is needed to combat the outbreak.